Have you ever heard about the terror beast from the Cambrian period? Let's dive into the ancient oceans and meet Timorebestia coprii, a species of carnivorous worm that ruled the waters during the early Cambrian period. This period spanned from 541 million to 485.4 million years ago. The name Timorebestia coprii translates to terror beasts, and for good reason. They were the giants of their day, dominating the food chain in their ecosystem, much like the sharks and seals in today's oceans. These creatures were truly the embodiment of terror in their time, the undisputed predators of the ancient seas. Just imagine these colossal worms ruling the waves, the terror of all other marine life. They were a force to be reckoned with, the ancient rulers of the deep. Now, you might be wondering when and how did we discover this terror beast? The discovery of Timora bestia copri is quite recent and fascinating. This tale of discovery begins at the early Cambrian Sirius Passet fossil locality in North Greenland. This region, known for its wealth of preserved ancient life, has offered up yet another gem, the fossils of a creature that dominated the waters during the early Cambrian period over 500 million years ago. The fossils of Timore Bestia Copri were found nestled between the layers of ancient rock, a silent testament to a time long past. These fossils were not just mere skeletal remains, they provided an almost complete picture of the creature, from its segmented body to the minute details of its teeth. The size and structure of the fossils suggested that the creature was a predator, one of the earliest carnivorous animals to have colonized the water column. But how did the scientists identify and classify this new species? It all comes down to the meticulous process of paleontology, the scientists compared the fossils with those of known species from the same era. They noted the unique characteristics that set Timor Bestia copri apart, such as its unusually large size for a marine worm and its array of sharp, serrated teeth. These traits led the scientists to classify Timor Bestia copri as a new species, one that was a giant in its time and a terror in the waters of the early Cambrian period. The name Timor Bestia copri, meaning terror beasts, was chosen to reflect the creature's formidable nature. It's a fitting name for a creature that would have been an apex predator, equivalent in importance to some of the top carnivores in modern oceans such as sharks and seals. And this discovery has opened up a whole new perspective on the Cambrian marine ecosystem. It highlights the diversity and complexity of life during this period, and it offers a glimpse into a world that was teeming with life, a world where creatures like Timor Bestia Copri ruled the waters. The discovery of Timor Bestia Copri is more than just finding a new species. It's like stumbling upon a lost chapter in Earth's history, shedding light on the ecosystem dynamics of the Cambrian period, which spanned from 541 to 485.4 million years ago. Imagine the world's oceans during the Cambrian period. It was a time when life was just beginning to take hold in the water column, a vibrant and chaotic stage of evolution. Amid this emerging landscape of early life, the Timorabestia copri, or terror beast, carved out its niche as one of the first carnivorous animals to colonize the water column. This worm was not just any worm, it was a giant of its time. Its size, while not quite matching the scale of today's marine predators like sharks and seals, was significant in the context of the Cambrian period. It was a relative behemoth, terrorizing the seas with its carnivorous diet and formidable size. The diet of Timora bestia copri is a fascinating aspect of its existence. This creature was an apex predator, feeding on a variety of organisms, likely smaller marine creatures that populated the Cambrian seas. Its feeding habits, combined with its size, placed it at the top of the food chain, equivalent in importance to some of the top carnivores in modern oceans. The presence of such a dominant predator would have shaped the ecosystem around it. Predators, after all, play a crucial role in maintaining the balance of any ecosystem. They control the population of other species, prevent overgrazing of vegetation by herbivores, and even influence the behavior of other animals. The Timora bestia copri, with its carnivorous habits and commanding size, was likely a key player in the ecological theater of the Cambrian period. It's a testament to the complex and dynamic nature of life on Earth, even in its earliest stages. Timora bestia copri was indeed a terror beast of its time, 
but how does it relate to today's species? While Timora bestia copri might seem like a creature out of a horror story, it has a surprisingly close relative in our modern oceans. The terror beast, a top predator of the Cambrian seas, has a living lineage in today's marine world. Meet the arrowworms or chaitonyats, a group of tiny marine predators that are distant but close relatives of the ancient Timora bestia copri. Arrowworms are minuscule compared to their ancient relative, the Timora bestia copri. Unlike the terror beast, which was a giant in its day, arrowworms are usually just a few centimeters long. However, what they lack in size, they make up for in numbers. Today, Shetuknyats are one of the most abundant groups of oceanic predators, feeding on tiny zooplankton and playing a crucial role in maintaining the marine food chain. But what ties these tiny present-day predators to their colossal ancient cousin? The answer lies in their shared predatory nature and unique anatomical features. Just like the Timora bestia copri, arrowworms are carnivorous, feeding on smaller creatures. Both species also share a similar body plan, with a streamlined elongated body that's perfectly adapted for a predatory lifestyle in the water column. Despite these similarities, there are stark differences between the two species. One of the most notable differences is their size. While Timora bestia copri towered over its Cambrian counterparts, arrowworms are a fraction of that size. This size difference reflects the vastly different ecosystems and food chains that these two species were a part of. In essence, the arrowworms are a living testament to the evolutionary journey of the Timora bestia copri lineage. They serve as a window into the past, offering us a glimpse of what life might have been like in the early Cambrian seas. So the next time you see an arrowworm, remember its terror beast ancestor, the Timora bestia coprii. This tiny predator carries with it a legacy of a time when our oceans were a completely different world, a time when terror beasts ruled the seas.